John, no, I'm, I'm floored. I, I think you've done it. You have a chance at real environmental change with this. Really amazing stuff. Yeah, I'm going to save the planet. My name is John Beal, and I was a titan of environmental protection. That wasn't enough. In the 90s, I was one of the foremost experts on climate change. The Clean Air Act of 1990? I wrote that. Countless other global clean air initiatives championed and crushed. I was cleaning up the earth and my success made me the highest paid EPA official. I even made more than my boss. I was that good. But saving the world was a lot of hard work. And it was time for a vacation. Due to the recent events that you've probably read about, I am in Pakistan. Got the call Thursday and left Friday. Hope you're back for Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. I told my bosses I was an undercover CIA agent and could disappear for months at a time. Only, I, I wasn't a CIA agent. I'd never even been to Langley. It was all a lie. It was a license to chill. I was really just sitting at home, riding my bike, reading, or working on my lawn. And when I wasn't at home, I was traveling the country, living the high life, staying in all the best hotels, flying first class flights. All total, I built nearly one million bucks out of the US government between 2001 and 2012 but I got too greedy. Well, John retired two years ago, but because he's undercover CIA, we kept him on our payroll. Well, I guess we'll get reimbursed someday, huh? Miss McCarthy, I'm looking at the records now. He's not an undercover CIA agent. The EPA has been paying John Beale a full salary for the last two years, doing absolutely no work for anyone. And then it all came to an end. This is the case of John Beale, a former high-level EPA employee. He will be sentenced today for bilking the government of nearly one million dollars. Look, the nine hundred thousand dollars that I stole wasn't even a drop in the bucket compared to the thirty billion dollars that was wasted by the federal government this year alone. You just like my story because I got away with something none of you regular Joes would ever even dream of. I'm a 65-year-old Ferris Bueller. I gotta go report to old, powerful white guy jail where I got nothing to do for the next 32 months but hang out and read. I hate doing that. Better, 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 better.